We've been using experience biology in our homeschool this past year for high school biology for my ninth grader. It's a new biology course as of last year, so I just wanted to take a little time to give you a little overview of the course, what the platform looks like and how it kind of flows. Being that it's a newer course, I, I have had several questions from readers over this past year um, with our experience. So I thought I would make a little video so you, everybody can get a better idea and a closer look as to what Experience Biology offers. So Experience Biology is from the Journey Homeschool Academy. They have a couple different <clears throat> science courses. They have biology and they have astronomy. Both they have, they offer both of those at a high school level and an elementary level. And they also just introduced um, this year, this spring, a Bible course for teens. So that is what they offer as of now. And I know it's only growing, so they'll be offering more courses in the future. This video is going to focus on the high school level of experience biology. I have not used the elementary level, which is geared towards ages 6 to 12, but that level um, looks just as good as the high school level. It has fun videos, hands-on activities, suggested reading lists. It also um, incorporates memory work and copy work. So that's the elementary level, but this video is going to focus on the high school level. Now, for high school, they do offer two options, the basic option and the advanced mastery option. The difference between these two is the advanced mastery costs a little bit more, but only like $15. It's really not much. And the advanced mastery includes the labs. The basic does not. And if you want to get high school credit for this biology course, you will need to complete the labs you will need to complete at least 15 of the labs in order to get high school credit for this biology course. So after you sign up and register and pay, you both you and your student will have a separate login. So you will need your own email accounts. So let's look at the parent dashboard. Okay, so here is the parents dashboard or the parents when they log in, after you log in, you will come here. It starts out with a welcome video and some other little important information. I encourage you to watch the video. Here is your sidebar menu, then you have resources. This is where you're going to get the student resources as well as your resources as the parent teacher. It includes the parent curriculum guide, which it walks you through the course, explains things. This is in a PDF format. I've pulled that up right. No, yep. So experience biology, the curriculum guide, this is for the parent. It again, just introduces you to the course, tells you about the course, what to expect, how to go through the course. It um, talks about the different components of the course, talks about the labs and the lab supplies. It also has the list of all the recommended readings from the textbook and the scope and sequence. So that's that. It also has a lab supply list and this is also where you get the student resources. The student resources are the student guidebook, which is this right here. The course comes with the PDF version, but you can purchase a physical spiral bound version from their store. So that would be an added expense. The student lab guide right here. Again, it includes the PDF digital version. You can buy a physical copy. The textbook, the riot and the dance is required for the um, advanced mastery credit option. 
So you will want that if you want to get high school credit. This you will have to buy. It's a physical book. You can buy it through their store or you can get it at any homeschool curriculum seller like Christian Book or Rainbow Resource. Also, this is where you'll get the answer keys for the guidebook, the research questions, and this is a handy little sample lab report so you can see what the lab reports should look like. And then you have a student management tab here, which shows you the progress and the quiz scores, which I never, I never use this because I just go to his, I log in under his and look at his tests and his, where he's at. Um, this is new this year where you can select the starting date for the course. They used to just start at the beginning of September and you had the school year to finish. Now you have school year, meaning like nine months. Now you can select when you want to start the course from these four dates. And um, then you have a full year, a calendar year to finish the course. So that is the parent login area. So now we'll move over to the student. So after this is your student's page. This is what your student will see. This is where your student will log in. They also have a welcome video. They also have a tab to get the resources as well. The guidebooks, um, it of course doesn't have the answer key. So they could get their stuff here. I just got it and downloaded it to my for my son, sent it to him in email so he didn't have to worry about it. Um, but this is available on their dashboard too. Assignments, this is where they can turn in their labs. Now, this is, they would need to turn in 15 labs to get credit for the high school credit for this course. And by turning them in, really all it is is that they will give you a certificate of completion saying that you completed the course and that you earned credit. Um, they do not grade the lab assignment. When you turn these in, when you turn in the lab assignments, they will not be graded. You still need to grade them. Um, you so that's really the only thing is to just get the only reason to submit your labs here is to get your certificate. You don't have to submit them. Um, we didn't submit any of the labs because I don't need that certificate for my personal records. I don't need it for my state records. So I just cut this out because it's just more work and <clears throat> there really was no benefit for me to turn the, the lab assignments in. That's just a personal preference. If you want the certificate, that's what this is for. So over here is where all of the lessons will be listed. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and when they start, just the first lesson will be here. The next lessons unlock once they complete the previous lesson. So here's lesson one. And once they finish off and check off all of the assignments for this lesson, then the next lesson will be available. So a lesson takes about a week. They suggest. Um, a week to do a lesson. There are 35 weekly lessons with four of those just being an exam week. After each quarter, there is an exam. So really there's 31 lessons of content and then four weeks of exams. So here's a lesson, lesson three. Here are the assignments. Each lesson contains at least two videos. Some of them, a few of them do have three videos. So your student will watch the videos. So video lesson 3A, and as they watch, that is when they'll use the student guidebook and fill in the outline and notes. 
in the student guidebook, it starts with a vocabulary page and then it gets into the notes, the outline and notes. So lesson 3A, these go with video 3A. And as you watch the video, the student will take notes, fill in the outline. <clears throat> there are a few pages. Then lesson 3B, outline and notes, goes with video 3B. So once they watch the videos and complete the outlines, they can check those off. Then there's also a reading assignment each week from the Riot and the Dance textbook. And there is also a quiz. The quiz is based on the video content, not the text, the text reading. And then there is research questions. So over here is where you'll find the quiz. So when they're ready to take the quiz, they click on that and the quiz will come up <clears throat> and they take it right here and it is graded right here. You can <clears throat> have the student retake the quiz if you weren't happy with their score, if you want them to study more, this is not an option on the exams. This is only an option on the quizzes to have them retake it. So once they finish the quiz, they would again check that off on their assignment. Check boxes here and then this is where you'll find the research questions. The research questions are normally two questions, sometimes three. Um, what my son does is he just copies the question into a Word doc or something and then answers it. So he copies and pastes it and then answers the question beneath. I then grade it. The answer key does give you um, an idea of what they should include in their question in the answers and some guidance on how to score and grade the research questions. Then over here, you'll see the laboratory assignment. The laboratory assignments also include a short video, like it's kind of like an introduction video to the lab and what they'll be doing. Sometimes it even shows them how to do it. And it also includes some other things they may need as they do the lab. And that's where they will need the student lab guide. And here's the lab guide and it shows the materials you'll need, walks you step by step on how to do the assignment or the lab assignment. This one's a long one. <laughs> it has places to draw your observations. Um, if you need a chart to record your data, notes sections, and then it tells you to complete a lab report. It also touches on things you should consider and questions you should try to answer in your lab report. Now, the lab report is gonna be something that the, the student types up from scratch. They type up, uh, it's probably gonna be like three to four pages long, and I believe it was in lesson two. Yeah. So lesson lab two, lesson two, lab two walks them through how to make a lab report and even um so here. So lab report would include like the title, you're gonna have an introduction, a hypothesis, you're gonna list the materials you use, the procedure that you did your results and then the conclusion and um, answers to possible discussion questions that they suggested. And in the teacher's guide, there is a handy grading rubric to help you grade the lab reports, which was very helpful. So that is the lab. And then 
after you complete all those things, you're done with that lesson. So they don't have a place to check off the lab here, which I thought was kind of odd, but I guess, I guess um, that's where if you want to turn it in for completion of completion certificate, you would add that in here. But um, I like to check off boxes, so <laughs> it would have been nice to have a lab checkbox. Um, so that's what a lesson looks like. You have the videos, you have the notes and the outline that go with the video, you have a reading assignment, a quiz and research questions, and a lab. And all that is very doable to do within a week's time. I just want to make sure I'm mentioning everything I wanted to mention about this. Okay, so I said you had access for a year. Now, these are not live videos. You, your child does not have to report to biology class on a certain day at a certain time. This is fairly self-paced within that year that you have. Um, so the child can watch the videos when it's convenient for them. Um, you will need to buy, along with the Riot in the Dance textbook, you will also need to buy the lab supplies that go with it, but they give you a convenient list to get all the supplies, suggestions on where to get the supplies, and um, you'll also need a microscope. There's a lot of um, observations in this lab and a lot of using a microscope. I believe they also give you suggestions on where to buy that, and I think I got mine on Amazon. It was a pretty good, I think it was, it was less than $100 on Amazon, which was a good deal. I got good reviews, and um, since I'm going to be passing it down to other kids, it was a worthwhile purchase. Um, also, they do have a um, preview lesson that you can check out. So if you go to their website, I'll, I'll give you a link in um, the comments or the post. <laughs> I'll get you a link, and you can sign up to get a uh, try a lesson for free. So you can try out a whole lesson or your child can try out a whole lesson and see if this course would be a good fit for them. Um, also, if you then end up end up buying and then realize that it's not what you expected or it's not a good fit, you do have 30 days to get a 100% refund if you are not happy. So they do offer that 100% money back guarantee within the first 30 days of when you start the course. So you can use it for up to 30 days and get a feel for it, decide if it's if it's gonna work for you. And I think that is it. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward, it's very well laid out, easy to follow. Um, but if you have any other questions, if you wanna know anything else about it, just comment, send me an email, send me a message, and I would be more than happy to answer them the best I can.